Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Zobda Potato, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. Today, we're checking out Moonshine Inc., uh, which is a management game all about making and selling moonshine. It's um, it's really, really interesting. We're going to skip through the intro. There's nothing really uh, to discuss there. Uh, but basically, uh, the story is, is that we own and operate a little <laughs> moonshine uh, operation up in the mountains. Uh, this is apparently my, my sister and this is apparently my, my dad. Uh, so let's jump into things and, uh, and let's see what we've got going on. And I believe that I can skip the tutorial because as ever, I will do my very best to explain what the heck is going on. So the first thing uh, to bear in mind is that this is quite an in-depth game, specifically when it comes to, uh, I guess, the process of, of brewing and distilling a whole number of uh, of, uh, of alcohols. Actually, it's it's quite an interesting it's quite an interesting case study uh, about how to how to make them. Anyway, um, what do we got on the screen? Well, we got quantity of alcohol up here. We've got mastery points. We've got our cash. We've got police alert. We've got a whole bunch of buttons which we're going to go through. Uh, very, very shortly indeed. We've got our objectives up in the top left-hand corner as well. So, uh, first things first. Uh, we need to get ourselves some staff members. And to be honest, we'll maybe just get ourselves uh, two basic staff members, I think, for now. Um, brilliant, excellent, fantastic. Two, two people, a weekly salary. Maybe I could have haggled for a, a bit of a lower weekly salary, but... Nah, I mean, whatever. It doesn't particularly matter. We're gonna be able to make some, uh, some, some hella money. That's for sure. Uh, right. So uh, we got two, we got our two employees. This is the recruitment interface. Um, probably what the most important thing. Uh, the most important interface is, I would say, is the workshop interface because this allows us to buy and build a whole bunch of different materials that we are going to use for uh, distillation, for example, and also fermentation. Now, uh, if I go to apparatus fast placement, you'll see that we already have two bits of apparatus here. We've got a medium-sized barrel, and then we've also got a um, a distillation thing, whatever, whatever the heck this is called. Your, your ABCs. It's a distillation, a distillation contraption. As long as you're not too ambitious, you'll be fine. Indeed, 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 indeed. That is, that is the case. Uh, but soon, you know, we're going to have a whole bunch of other things, you know, pre-fermentation stage. We can get a different, a different, uh, different bits of, different bits of machinery. They've got, you know, different, different durability ratings. They've got different reflux rates, different powers, different costs. Oh, the whole thing. It's very, very, very in depth. And as I say, we're 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 going to scratch the surface as much as we possibly can over this uh, over this little episode here. Uh, so that's what the workshop is. Um, we can now do maintenance on either of these two. Uh, either of these two bits of apparatus, but we don't need to do any maintenance at the moment because they're brand new. We've already talked about the workers. Um, garage, we don't need to worry about this too much yet. There is a tech tree, which allows us to unlock a whole bunch of different bits and bobs, which we will no doubt get to in due course. Uh, recipes, this is very, very, very important, actually. Uh, so there's a whole bunch of different recipes that we can that we can make. Now, we actually only have, I think, one recipe at this moment in time, although I do know the recipe for a second, uh, but the way of discovering recipes is kind of interesting, and there's also, like, different types of alcohol that you can that you can make, and it's our job to try and suss out what some of these recipes are. The mission is to, as I understand it, try and make as many of these recipes as we possibly can, uh, which is exactly what we're going to do. As I say, we've got poor man's tequila at the moment, agave syrup, corn syrup, uh, we don't have birch syrup or cane sugar, uh, but that's fine. I mean, we can, we can start this process. If we go into batch creator and we start the creation of a batch, corn syrup, Agave syrup. Uh, oh, pre-fermentation. Yeah, we don't actually have pre-fermentation uh, equipment. I wonder. I wonder. Yeah, I think what we need to do is we need to do we need to do something else in the first instance. Let's go to the map here. Now, this map is actually kind of interesting for a, a number of reasons, which we'll get to. We'll get to in due course. This is where our base is up in the mountains. Uh, we've got a couple of spots where we're going to be able to sell our our, uh, our product, the old shack, the local den, and also under a bridge. But for now, I'm going to go to the store and I'm going to get uh, Demerara sugar. Let's get, uh, let's get 100 kilograms of this. Thank yep. You. And let's also get uh, Barbados sugar as well. Get 100 kilograms of that as well. Thank yeah. The reason being 
is because there is another recipe which we're going to be able to make before we make uh, before we make poor man's tequila. And that is going to be with Barbados sugar and Demerara sugar. Uh, we're going to choose to ferment in here. Um, we, I believe it's this recipe right here. There we go. So we toggle the value or we toggle the proportions between the uh, Demerara and the Barbados sugar. And then we go through this process and we go into the bottling process. Now, I believe, I believe that we are going to be making a, I believe that we're going to be making a recipe called Rot Gut, which uh, we managed to hit 100%. That's good because as I say, that's uh, the tutorial thing. I mean, if I was to... Yeah, I mean, if I was to adjust, if I was to adjust the values, uh, you can see, you can see from the, the percentage match down there that even though we've matched 100%, we've matched, you know, if we vary it, we've matched about to 81% of that recipe, uh, which means that basically uh, there is another recipe. There is another recipe that requires another ingredient, uh, which we're going to be able to make if we adjust the proportions and if we're able to get, you know, whatever the other ingredient is. So we just need to experiment. We need to play around a little bit. Anyway, there's this whole sort of flavor profile here. It's looking good. Uh, let's start the process of creation. We'll set up fermentation. We'll start the process of fermentation. Uh, this is, it's, it's, absolutely wild how much uh, how much detail this this thing goes into um what we're primarily doing for for fermentation and the the problem is is that i am not a master brewer so i'm not uh, i'm not intimately familiar with the uh the different amounts that we're going to be that we're going to be exploring here uh but i believe what we want to be aiming for is about 17 percent sugar give or take yeah about 17 percent sugar i think that i think that's fine recipe match Again, I mean, we should be okay. We should be okay with something like, something like that. Obviously, I think we need more. I think we need, we don't need, but I think we want basically as much water as we can. We don't have the ability to, um, to adjust the fermentation, tem uh, the fermentation temperature. Uh, what is it? 92% match. Again, look, we're changing the, the different flavor profile by changing the different uh, type of yeast. Either way, I think we're fine with, uh, I think we're fine with all this. I think if I take, yeah, if I take this back, if I take back the, if I uh, shrink the, the duration of the process, you can actually see that we're able to narrow down and hit pretty much 100%. So this is what we're doing. We're taking, we're taking the, um, or we're, we're cutting the process short and therefore or we're cutting the amount of ethanol uh, and we're stopping the sugar from uh, from diminishing before it gets too low. Uh, yeah, let's start the process there. And if we zoom out and we go into, uh, well, let's say four times speed for now, sure. Uh, then one of my workers is going to hopefully start the process of getting this all set up. It's not a very, not a very complex operation, I got to be honest, but I tell you what, I'm going to adjust the sound ever so slightly whilst we are whilst we're waiting here there we go marvelous and uh yeah we'll wait for this we'll wait for this process to officially kick start i mean i don't think that we're going to be waiting too long there we go it's already it's already underway which is marvelous very 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 good uh, so what we've just what we've just made is I guess going to be our going to be our 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 basic our basic our basic moonshine, which hopefully we're going to be able to sell to anybody who wants uh who wants a who wants a who wants a wee bit. Right, marvelous. Uh, medium sized barrel has been completed. Okay, that's good. Let's move on to the next part of the process, which is distillation. Excellent. So, uh, this is this is another sort of interesting thing. Uh, we can we can change we can change what we want here, right? So there's different there's different bits there's different bits of uh, there's different bits of the process here. So we can turn on we can turn on which which quantity no sorry which quantity of ethanol will comprise the final product. So uh, we'll leave it all on for now. I'm fine with this. Uh, we'll put it on high, although I don't think it really particularly makes any difference. Yeah, so let's leave it on high. We've got 191 uh, liters, 6% ethanol. Um, we can, I believe it'll, yeah, it'll modulate the ethanol. It'll modulate the ethanol based on 
what we are what we're adding here. The quality is 27%. The quality is going to be highest if we just take just take the high ethanol content, but you know what? Honestly, it's 100% match for what we're going for, so let's freaking let's freaking go for it and let's uh let's start the process. Let's start the process up here. Brilliant. So the product is being moved right on over into the uh, distillation apparatus, which is great. And then we will see we will see what happens. Also, craft one fermentation uh, apparatus. I don't believe medium sized barrel open fermentation tank. Uh, is there any difference? I don't think so. I tell you what, I'm gonna create. I'm gonna create the uh, the open fermentation tank because I would kind of like to get. Kind of like to get it. Did I build that? I think I did. Let's have a look. Oh, it's completed. Let's go into the batch. Uh, we'll set up bottling, and then we'll see. Thank you very much. It looks like my equipment has just arrived, but I'll deal with that in a second. Um, you can see we've made rot gut, which is marvelous. Recipe does not match. Okay, well, that's a, that's a bit unfortunate. Whatever the case, we can actually adjust our product, uh, which is good. Uh, expensive product, lower spellings, selling speed. Uh, I mean, what do I... What do I particularly care about? I think, you know, let's go for like 20... Let's go for like 25 bucks. Um, we can also decide to add water if we want to. Rot gut one. Uh, we're gonna get ourselves. What did I say? 20, 24, Sure. Uh, let's let's give this a let's give this a punch. Uh, let's give this a punt. Uh, we're gonna get thirty two mastery points, which is pretty good as well. And I believe, I believe that should be that should be us. Okay. Uh, your ABC is completed. Crafting is done, and quest well equipped has arrived. So I believe we should be able to do. Uh, that, yep, there we go, which is great. Uh, cheap labor, hire a worker, deliver 20 liters of poor man's tequila. Yeah, let's immediately start doing the poor man's tequila. So that is agave syrup and also corn syrup. Oh, we need to do pre-fermentation apparatus, of course. That was what we needed to do. And I believe... I believe that's this. I believe that's mashing. Yeah, unlocks a mash ton. A pre-fermentation apparatus for processing complex sugar. So let's do that. Let's go into the workshop. We will craft pre-fermentation, the old cauldron. Boom, we'll do that. And then as soon as that arrives, we should be able to we should be able to sell it. So yeah, there's a lot of, I guess, quite intricate knowledge and information that goes into, you know, determining exactly uh, what the heck what the heck we're, we're supposed to be doing. Um, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Don't don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay, um, what's next? Well, next, we need to sell our product and we need to make money from it. So, uh, we have one car at the moment, which is great. We've got a 123 liters of cheap rot gut, uh, which we're selling at 24 bucks a liter. Uh, let's move 100 liters across and we will set the destination to the old shack and we will start the delivery. So... Uh, we shall wait and see what comes out of that. So we can see that there's a little uh, a little information thing over here. And we shall also probably, I'd say, well, yeah, let's start making the, let's start making another, start making another batch. Because we've still got plenty of sugar, right? There we go. Uh, let's do it in this one. Brilliant. Rot gut. Yeah, we know we're going to make rot gut. Unless... I've got corn syrup. Mm, doesn't look like that's going to match. Doesn't look that's, like that's going to match any of the other recipes. Uh, let's just do... Let's just do that. That's fine. Simple yeast. Yep. Post distillation, beautiful, uh, and let's go. Right, zero workers available. That is a shame. Why is nobody available? I mean, I realize that one guy is, one guy is in the process of. What are you busy doing? One of the one of the guys is busy driving across, you know, across the countryside. I get that. What's the other guy doing? Yeah, what the heck are these? What the heck are these dudes? Yeah, you're available. 
There we go. Okay. Set up the fermentation process. Let's go. Let's go again. Uh, let's go pretty much the same. Same sort of recipe there. 17% sugar, give or take. Yeah, that's fine. And we'll bring the recipe. We'll bring the recipe in there. Match it to 100%. Beautiful. Uh, let's start the process. Let's go. Excellent. Okay. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to pop across to the store and I'm going to see what else there is that we can unlock. Um, I, sh I think I should just probably buy a bunch of everything. So beet sugar. I mean, let's buy like 50 kilograms of beet sugar. Will do. Welcome back. Cane sugar, corn sugar, maple syrup, molasses, rice, buy everything. I mean, like, fermented fermented honey water, that's, that's mead, right? So, we should be able to, should be able to do something with that. Oh, look at this. The police are gonna, the police are gonna note my... Oh, look, they, they... Oh, that's a, like a that's a that's an interesting substance. Ah, okay. Well, let's get rid of um. Yeah, let's get rid of that tur turbidano sugar. Okay. Well, we'll buy fifty kilograms of everything else. Um, the turbidano sugar we we don't have to worry about right now. If that's gonna if that's gonna upset the police, then that's okay. Right. So the old shack is is away. That's good. Um. So how are the sales doing? The sales are doing not too badly. Uh, we've got 98 liters already over there, which means that we've sold a good couple. Now, um, it is worth noting, by the way, that there is... Yeah, it's going to take a while to get... It's going to take a while to get, uh, you know, to get stuff sold, but that's okay. Um, it's worth noting that each and every different sale location has got a different preference. So this area has got uh, Moonshine as a preference. Local Den has got Cheap uh, as a preference. And then that's also got Moonshine as a preference. That's, that's fine, uh, to be honest. Uh, we'll also for example, uh, get some, uh, get some specific missions. Uh, what do we got? Cheap labor. We need to hire a worker, test your mantle, deliver 20, uh, 20 liters of poor man's tequila. Yeah, we can do that. Uh, and that's what we're going to do. We'll occasionally get specific missions. Um, you know, that we'll need to, we'll need to do. Uh, this is, this is cheap, but it's not that cheap. Let's go over here. Start delivery. What's under the bridge? It's also moonshine. Cool. Anyway, um, we're starting to make we're starting to make money. It's just going to take time. Just going to take time to happen. Uh, but I've got no issues with that at all. Right. So that fermentation is in progress. We'll get the old cauldron down over here. Uh, the old cauldron. I am going to try creating a new batch, and that is, of course, going to be the. Uh, in fact, I can preload the recipe here. We can do. I don't want to do rot gut. I want to do poor man's tequila. There we go. We'll choose the recipe. Uh, that'll tell us exactly what we need, which is kind of nice. Agave and... What was it? Corn. There we go. There we go. And ferment in there. We'll adjust the proportion of the recipes. Distillation apparatus. Uh, I mean, there's not much... There's not much... Uh, there's not much we can do until, I guess, the... I guess the fermentation on this one is done. Delivery finished. Not of the other one yet, but that's okay. Right. Oh. The customer's always right, except when they steal your stuff. Chase the chase the customer. Sure. There we go. Excellent. Okay. So we should start to see we should start to see the uh, the units going going down over here. There's no particular sort of time frame that we're really worried about. Uh, we're really worried about getting. Uh, we just need to, we just need to kind of wait a little bit. Um, but I will say is that in the interim, there's nothing from stopping us crafting another. There's nothing from stopping us crafting another distillation set. It's going to cost me like a fair amount of money to do. So maybe there's a, you know, a reason to hold off on that for at least a little while. But, ah, uh, you know, we got, we got good money coming. We got good money coming in, which is important. Right, let's go to Batch Creator. We'll set up Distillation. We'll do pretty much exactly the same. High Flame. Uh, yeah, I mean... 
yet. It's actually gonna, it gives us a quicker, um, gives us a slightly more quantity, which is great. Is there a difference in quality? The quality is slightly higher if we were to... Quality is slightly higher if we were to go... If we were to go long. Uh, I don't really care about the quality. I think I care more about quantity than anything else. Either way, we'll start the distillation process here. Very, very quickly, we're going to be... We're going to be going again. Uh, you know what I am going to do? I am actually legitimately going to go into the workshop. I'm going to craft another another distillation thing. Let's get a cheap one this time. Get a cheap one. Um, it's not going to be here for a little while. It's been ordered, but, you know, we'll see. We'll see what we can do with it. 123 thingies. It's arrived. Good news. We'll get that... Get that down over here. Wonderful. And now we can start the process. Now we can start the process of properly getting uh, this batch started. We'll go over to the cairn. Uh, no post distillation. Happy with that bubbling. Brilliant. Let's get that set up and we can go into fermentation, which is great. I mean, do I particularly care about anything here? No. Again, we'll sort of aim for like 17%. I think that seems like a good... Seems like a good thing to do. If I was to do slightly higher mash. Yeah, okay. I mean, is there... Now, there's no real difference here. I mean, that's 1% ethanol versus 2% ethanol. That's... That's kind of, like, nothing. Like, that's nothing at all. Am I sure that that's going to be the... Am I sure that that's okay? It says we're matching 100%, but... Hold on. Go back. Set up fermentation. Am I missing something? I feel like I feel like I might be. Okay, you know what? Let's 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 roll with three percent ethanol. I mean quality of seventy three percent. This feels like it should be like wrong. I don't know, it just doesn't feel right, you know? It just doesn't feel right. I'm not quite sure what's what's going on. I'm not quite sure. But you know what? We're going to get 20 liters of, uh, of poor man's tequila delivered anyway, which is great. Old shack hotspot alert level increased. Uh, that's a shame. That is a shame, but uh, it's still very low. That's That's fine. That's fine. Local den is officially out. That's okay, too. Uh, we are about to start the process of bottling this second batch here. Rot gut two. Uh, do I would uh, do I want to do I want to lower the price? I actually, you know what? Let's let's lower. Let's put it at uh, twenty two. Estimated revenue. Wowzers! Look at that. Expected profit two six four. Six. Oh my lordy. That's an incredible amount of uh, of profit here. Let's do it. Let's bottle. And then let's archive. Excellent. And then we'll get a delivery under the bridge. Uh, oh, actually, no. What am I talking about? We don't want to do that. We want to do plan another delivery. We want to do 60 units, give or take. Doesn't need to be exact we'll do 60 units to under the bridge and then 60 units to did i not there we go 60 units to under the bridge and then 60 units to local den shouldn't be too difficult to deal with at all i don't believe there we go uh we can't plan another delivery yet but we will don't worry we will Either way, I mean, quite an incredibly large amount of money that we're likely to make here, eh? Feels pretty good, man. 
Okay, get rid of all of these notifications. And we'll still continue to wait for the uh, for the tequila to get to get finished. Right, set destination, boom. Let's go. Start delivery. Welcome back. Okay, I don't need to go here yet. Um, anything in the technology tree? Close fermentation. Is that is that better? Wild yeast, we do not have... Oh, it's not unlockable in this chapter. Presumably, yeah, not unlockable in that chapter uh, either. Uh, anything in distillation? We want to unlock 400 liters. It's not available in this chapter either. Uh, some old lady sitting by one of your hotspots offers to help you get some clients. She says she has a lot of children. They all love liquor. A gogoplex. That's a lot of... Uh... Lose $8,750. Doubt her claim. I think, yeah, that seems like a... I think that sounds like a like a very, very sensible thing to do. Okay, so close fermentation. Let's unlock close fermentation. We can't unlock anything else at the moment, I don't believe. Like, everything else is sort of closed in the chapter or closed to us in this chapter. That's fine. Uh, local den hotspot alert level has increased. Oh, it's increased to two. Okay. I mean, yeah, there's not much we can do about that. Either way, uh, let's just wait for this. Let's wait for this second level to complete. Delivery quantity minus 30%. Okay, whatever. Uh, we cannot start. We cannot start another batch unless we want to get another employee or wait until the... Wait until when this car is back. Either way, um, we're selling a decent amount of, of spirits at all of the different places. And uh, the local den, 0.70 liters per hour. It's pretty good. And the quality is actually, uh, the quality is actually not bad on the stuff that we're selling here, which is kind of kind of nice to know. The old shack, yeah, it's it's kind of it's kind of slowing, isn't it? It's kind of slowing. Can I? don't think I can get. If I was to evacuate the batches, would that, um, would that, uh, would that just get rid of all of the alcohol there? I feel like it might. Anyway, let's, let's progress the, the poor man's tequila. 28% quality. Uh, the ethanol match is... Not great. Yeah, so it's too low. The ethanol is... It's too low. The quantity is only going to be 68 liters as well. Whatever the case, we'll we'll start the process. We'll get it done. You know, we'll just... Just do it. Uh, we'll also start creating a brand new batch. I mean, should we try, like... Should we try to find a new recipe? I mean, if we have a little look at... Do we have any idea about any of the different recipes? If we have a little look at the recipe book... So, what did Rotgut give us? Ah, okay. So, Rotgut gave us something. Poor Man's Tequila, we haven't completed yet. Spirit Lifter. What is the Spirit Lifter? Okay, Cane. Cane, Maple Syrup, Honey. Let's try that. Cane, Maple, something, Honey. Uh... Or Barbados sugar, I guess. Sure. Molasses honey. Maple syrup. That's fine, right? Uh, no, I don't want the match for rot gut. I want it to be the match for, uh, for the other thing. Uh... Rot gut 100% match. No, no, I don't want rot gut. I don't want rot gut. Oh, we actually have... Wait, did I select... Did I select the wrong recipe? Huh. Am I going absolutely crazy here? This is this is the right one, right? 
Honey maple syrup molasses. Let's let's just do that. Trust your instinct. Honey maple syrup molasses. There we go. We got all we got all the stuff that we need to get. Right. Let's go in here. I don't think it's it's not Rodgut though, right? Like it's I need maple syrup molasses. Maybe Rodgut's like a type of new recipe six. There we go. That's that looks that looks much better. Right, so as long as we're able to get the match right. Do we need more sweetness? We can get there. Okay, I mean, this is going to be... This is going to be challenging. Uh, I mean... It's not high enough to match, unfortunately, I don't think. I mean, what's the closest match that we're going to get? 67? I feel like... That doesn't strike me as a particularly great, particularly great match. Um, 73. Can we get by with, with 73%? No, we can't. That, that doesn't, that doesn't count. So these three ingredients are clearly like not going to cut it. So Spirit lifter, you need at least three of these ingredients. Maple syrup, honey, molasses. Let's try with cane sugar instead. Cane sugar instead of honey. Does that make any difference? 74%. Oh, this is like, this is, this is like flipping NASA scientists right here, trying to figure out what the heck to do. It's kind of close to poor man's tequila, you know? Uh, you know what? I think we're going to ditch maple syrup and instead add... Maybe we'll try adding honey back. Because I think honey, I think honestly honey will add the, the flavor profile that we need. Let's see. If we can get it above... 79%. I mean, that's pretty good. 79%? I think 79%. Is that not enough? I am very, very confused. I don't... I don't need rock gut. I need... Let's try this other one. Uh, what is this? Oka... Oka... Whole... Whole Rio. What's it? Rice syrup, demerara, beet sugar. Rice sugar, demerara sugar, uh, beet sugar. Do I have beet sugar? I do have beet sugar. Here we go. Okay, 15th, 15th time is a charm. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I think it seems to like weirdly do. I think it weirdly seems to like lock it behind rot gut. I have no idea. Yeah, I have no idea why that's the. I have no idea why that's the case. Right? Are we making any progress on the, on the batch out here? No, we're not. I'm just. I'm faffing around. I'm faffing around, looking like a looking like an idiot. Right? How are the hotspots doing? The hotspots are doing okay. We're selling. We're selling stuff, but it's selling slowly. Selling slowly. Yeah, I wonder... I don't know. Am I missing something? Unknown recipe. You need at least three of these ingredients. Yeah, I mean, I, I get it. 
Price clue, it's cheap. Purman's tequila can sell for more, which is great. Happy days. At least three of these ingredients. Rice syrup, demerara sugar. Let's go and see if we can maybe get the... Um... Also, that's... yeah. We're... What are you looking for? I'm looking for that illegal thing. Oh, cane sugar is illegal now. Oh. Oh, I guess it's... I guess it's not always the same things that are uh, that are illegal. Okay, poor man's tequila. Let's sell. Sure, sell it at fifty bucks. That sounds that sounds fine to me. And let's bottle it. Brilliant. And let's archive that. Uh, we shall go into pause mode or one time speed, whatever suits. Uh, let's set up twenty. Twenty liters to be delivered to you. What's the, what's the issue? Repair. Ugh. How long is it going to take to repair? 24 hours? Ugh. How annoying. God, I mean, this is like... Okay, rice syrup, demerara, beet sugar. Choose this recipe. Yeah, but it gives us... Gives us the... Uh, the weird one. I feel like this shouldn't be this shouldn't be happening. Rice syrup, demerara, beet sugar. Okay. Into there. Into there. Oh look at that. Look at that. New recipe. 80% match. Like that's it. That's it for sure. We've we've got we've got some in here. That's enough. There's nothing else that we can add, I don't think. That's that's it. Post distillation. Sure. Let's create. Let's do it. Okay, brilliant. So we managed to find we managed to find something. Uh, new recipe, 80% match. Yeah, can I maybe? We'll get the water, we'll get the get the mash. We'll try trimming it down. Does that seem to match things anymore? No, we have no idea. But quality is at 60%. Um, what do we want to... What do we want to leave it as? Let's try like 8%. Sure, that sounds that sounds good. Um, great, although I will say like Moonshine Category needs approximately 45% ethanol. Whatever, let's just experiment. Let's experiment, let's see what, uh, let's see what happens. Okay, alert level increased, uh, Karen completed, excellent. Uh, we are still making money, that is the important thing. The local den is almost out. The old shack is continuing to be a pain in the backside. Uh, we are going to get deliveries set up in just a second, but we're going to have to wait until the car is uh, going to be fixed. And I would love to get, I would love to get a better, a better car, but unfortunately I cannot do anything about that. We're just going to have to suck it up and deal with the fact that our car sucks and is going to suck for a while. There we go. Get to fermenting. Under the bridge hotspot has increased. That's okay. At least local den is hopefully going to decrease a little bit. Under the bridge gained a new effect. Gain 5% more per each liter sold. That's great. Oh, I'm happy to happy to endorse that. That's marvelous. Okay, is the car fixed yet? The car's fixed. Brilliant. Okay, let's load the car up with 20 liters and we'll send it on its way. There we go. And start the delivery. Brilliant. Away we go. So. Where do we want to sell our tequila? Um, I mean, it's a moonshine, right? I believe. I go into inventory, alcohol here. Yeah, it is a uh, poor man's tequila. Is it is a moonshine? I think. Yeah, 
Oh, actually, tell you what, that's allowed us to complete, allows us to complete it. Um, I will say, by the way, that the quality is not great. The quality is not, not great. Uh, okay, tell him to chill out, that's fine. Uh, right, so the spirit lifter. The spirit lifter, man, I mean... We gotta, we gotta be able to, let, let's, let's really hope that this produces something that is, that is kind of useful. Because I have no idea why the, uh, why the game doesn't want to give me the opportunity to, uh... Ah, excellent. Brilliant. Poor man's tequila went down an absolute treat with, uh, with that guy that wanted it there, which is great. Happy days. Yeah, we're still making, we're still making money. It's just not happening particularly particularly quickly. That is basically because everybody has grown weary of the fact that Rotgut is Rotgut is here. Why don't we reduce the price a little bit? Sure. Try and shift some of it. Does it particularly matter that... Does it particularly matter that we're going to make less money? I mean, it does, but it's not the end of the world. Okay. That is looking good. How's our how's our current brew going? Not bad. Not bad. Almost done with it. Um, we should try and distribute our other tequila stuff, but we'll do that in just a second. Right. Quality is 0%. Well, that is, that is kind of miserable. Can I maybe cut some of this out? Although, actually, that's going to really... It's really going to modify the flavor profile, isn't it? Quality is literally 0%. So we have a real problem here, where the new recipe is... It's going to match... Do we care about do we care about brewing particularly high quality? No, you know what? Let's just go let's just go with this. Let's just go with this. We'll just roll roll with the punches for now. We can always worry a little bit later down the line. Right. So I actually want to see Yeah, I actually want to see what happens here after the distillation process for this. So let's uh let's maybe just wait a little a little second. Let's also see if we can try and hire another worker. Uh, recruitment, trainee, yeah, absolutely. Let's give him a weekly salary of... Sure. Excellent. Good stuff. Make 150 liters of moonshine. Well, I think we actually have done that, but I'm happy to make more. I'm happy to make more, especially if it's rot gut, because rot gut is something that we can make. Oh, look at that, daddy bear. Corn syrup, honey cane sugar. Oh, look, see, that's worked perfectly. Why did that work perfectly? Well, let's make Daddy Bear. How much does this sell for? Sells at a good price. Excellent. Well, let's continue to make Daddy Bear then. Beautiful. adjust the recipe so that it can be what the heck eighty percent match is that it I mean maybe it's just a different type of yeast that we need to throw into here I mean is there like any other types of yeast that we can unlock right now no Unfortunately, unfortunately not. Yeah, so that may very well be that may very well be where uh, we are struggling. Uh, I could, if I wanted to, sure. Let's do that. Uh, I could, if I wanted to, change things up and make some make some more stuff happen. Um, this is Daddy Bear. This recipe, isn't it? Yeah, we don't know what this other recipe is yet, though, do we? No. Okay, so let's get. Let's get the match to happen. Did I see 96% there anywhere? That looks pretty darn close, to be honest. 
We are legitimately only going to make 17 liters of this stuff. Although the quality is going to be 71%. Oh, what am I talking about? I haven't stuck in the... Uh, haven't stuck in the mash yet. No, we don't want the sugar to be too much. The ethanol... I mean, it's going to take a day and a half, but 71% to me seems kind of good. I think... I think that is fine. I think that is fine. You know what? Let's, uh, let's try and... Let's try and pump it as much as we can. Forty-one percent sugar. Is that actually like necessarily problematic? Like it says that it's over. It says that it's over the top. But what if it's not? Because that gets us. That gets us like near the thirty percent alcohol uh, limit. Let's 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 try that. Can I can I not try that? Is that not allowed? Okay. So apparently you're not allowed to do that. You have to. You have to keep the sugar limits. You have to keep the sugar limits slightly lower. Okay, well, whatever. 69%. 69%. Let's let's freaking go. I am not a master brewer. Not, not by any stretch of the imagination. However, I am making money, so that's good news, at least. Let's go and take our... Uh, let's go and take our... Fine. Does the poor man's tequila... Is that fine? It's cheap. Let's take it to the local den. Because they, they like cheap stuff over here. And there's no, there's nothing else. So it's not exactly like anybody's going to sell anything else, eh? Brilliant. And of course, now that we've got a third employee, we can actually uh, manage to, to sort of facilitate that, which is quite nice. Um, I'm thinking of maybe just making a big batch of rot guts in a in a second. Hotspot is increased. Hotspot is increased. Yeah, I mean that's to be anticipated, right? Okay, sales are looking pretty good. Expensive products, slower slower selling speed. I mean that's okay. I I think I can tolerate that. How are we doing over here? Zero point one nine liters per hour. Yeah, I mean I kind of just need to finish selling stuff here. Just get it, just get it sold. Just get it sold. There we go. Okay, what do we got here? Set up bottling. Excellent. Okala, Okalaheo. Brilliant. So we did actually manage to get that, to get that done. Recipe does not match. I mean, what's the issue? Not enough ethanol to match the requirements. Yeah, so we've actually managed to produce ethanol with 16 or with 16%, but we need to be hitting roughly 45%, which is so the problem is that we just don't have enough ethanol. So we can bottle it. Um, but it's pretty much useless, I think. But that being said, I mean, does that actually give us it gives us more intel, right? Yeah, it gives us more intel, which allows us to choose the recipe, which is great. Because for the first time in what feels like forever, we might actually be able to get the recipe to work properly. Let's choose Demerara, beet sugar. I can't choose more. It's not possible, is it? Yeah, I mean... Eighty percent match. I mean, it seems like there's going to be an eighty percent match. Sort of whatever I decide to do. I mean, 84, 80 to eighty-four percent quality is it's pretty great. Uh, quality is going to drop because we're going to be using the the worst of the two Cairns. But let's let's try. Let's try. Sure. All right. We'll set up fermentation. Uh, so yeah, this is where we need to try and get forty-five percent ethanol. So. I can use less water. That is absolutely something that we have the opportunity to do. 
Uh, we can also cut things short if we want to. It's going to be an 83% match. That would get us like into the 81% match. It's not too bad. But the ethanol, the ethanol volume is still too low. Yeah, that's not... That's not happening, is it? That's not happening. I mean, even at... 12, I mean, 13%. I mean, that's an 81% match. I, st I still think the ethanol the ethanol is just too low. Um, we just can't push it any higher, unfortunately. Even if we were to leave it the entire, the entire time, the entire duration. Yeah. I don't, I don't think so. Choose the simple powder. Try and put the mash up as much as possible. 14%. I mean that's as that's as about as much as we can push it, but ah, whatever. It, it's fine. We'll see how it we'll see how it goes. The point is, is that we're still making money, which is great. Um, I don't think that there's anything else that we can spend our technology points on, is there? I don't think so. I think that's I think that's it for this chapter. I don't know where the next chapter begins. Uh, the old cauldron is working away. I should probably do some cleaning. I did talk about cleaning, but to be fair, I didn't really, I didn't really deal with deal with it much. Uh, we've pretty much sold all of our stuff at every point. How's our how's our poor man's poor man's tequila selling? Sold well. Uh, we're up at 10 k again. Actually, the old shack is looking pretty good. Uh, things are. Very much in progress over here. We're just waiting for a whole bunch of fermentation to take place. Yeah. Do we have any alcohol in our inventory at the moment? 73 liters of 0% quality Okalaheo. And the stuff that the Okalaheo that I'm going to make is still awful. Deliver 40 liters of moonshine made from maple syrup. Okalaheo, does that have maple syrup in? No. Unfortunately not. Unfortunately not. Well, I guess we can try and sell our... We can try and sell our Oklaheo. Whoops. Sure. I mean, try give it a punt. There we go. Get rid of it. Yeah, I mean, look. The brewing process. Goodness gracious me. It's complicated, isn't it? It very much is. Uh, I could probably afford some more stuff. How much is this selling for? 43 a piece. 0 0.3 liters. That's not bad. 0 0.3 liters an hour. Yeah, we'll, we'll get there. Um, don't get me wrong. Like, it's absolutely useless stuff. Like, it's terrible, terrible, terrible stuff. But at least we're, at least we're getting rid of it. Um, which is, which is kind of nice. And the police, thankfully, haven't busted me yet. What do you need? Oh yeah, 40, 40 liters of, of moonshine made from maple syrup. Yeah, this daddy bear. I want to see this daddy bear stuff. This is this is gonna be interesting. God, it's taking a long time, isn't it? Taking a taking a pretty bleeding long time. But to be fair, I mean, in terms of money, things are going great. I'm back to I'm back to my original amount of cash that I had at the uh, at the very start. I still haven't been busted by the police. We are finally going to get rid of this awful awful rot gut stuff. Awful awful rot gut stuff. Uh, do I need to buy some more equipment? I feel like I definitely could. Okay. More alerts have gone out. Not much that I can really do about that. Um, why don't I do some repairs? Workshop maintenance. Yeah, we'll see if we can do some. Uh, see if we can do some maintenance, uh, which I can't do on the medium fermentation tank because, of course, there's still something in it at the moment. Eighty-one percent match. The ethanol is not good enough. Can I? It's up to fifty percent quality. 
Hey, that's not too bad. The ethanol match is now only slightly out of whack. If I cut that down, cut that down. Needs 45% ethanol. Okay. So the blending match is... So it's really a case of what do we want to do? Do we want to offset? Do we want to offset? 32% quality, 28% quality, 48% quality, very, very slight ethanol mismatch. I think that's fine. I think that's exactly what we do. Yeah, it's going to take a day, but we're going to be able to get ourselves some proper, 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 decent, good stuff, um, which I'm pretty happy about actually all things considered that's that's gonna be a pretty a pretty nice brew it's gonna be a pretty nice brew okay still the police are not likely to raid me have we gotten rid of everything here I still cannot believe I can't believe somebody's buying this honestly that's shocking maybe reduce the price a smidge There we go. And this rot gut. I mean, honestly, we should be giving it away for giving it away for free at this point. But whatever, it's fine. Right, let's do the bottling. Uh what do you mean it doesn't match? What do you mean it doesn't match? It matches just fine. 50 bucks. That's how confident, that's how confident I am. Uh, right, do I want to move it to somewhere? I suppose we could move like a little bit of it. 51 liters seems like a, seems like a lot. Let's move 15. Let's move them over there. Uh, so yeah, we'll see if that works. If it does, great. If it doesn't, then that's not the end of the world. And hopefully the car doesn't need to be repaired quite yet. And hopefully the police don't decide to raid my base yet. Of course, the car does need to be fixed, which is exactly what I'll do. Uh, God, the car is just so miserable, isn't it? The car is just so miserable. Why are you not going? What's the issue? What's the issue with this daddy bear? Recipe. Do I need to adjust this? Do we need more cane sugar? Is that the issue? How can I help? Uh, try getting some more cane sugar, sure. Will do. Is that the was that the issue? That may very well have been the issue, but it also might not be the issue. I don't know. Anyway, uh, let's get the delivery set up. We'll get a delivery of. Sure, we'll sell the rest of the 36, set the destination, and we'll just go. Probably seems like a pretty bad idea to put all of my... Ah, whatever, sure. Seems like a pretty bad idea to put all of my remaining cards into this one basket. Uh, it is also the highest of any flipping... Any flipping area. But to be fair, we lost 70% of our cargo on the way there, so... Uh, chances of us actually losing, losing out before we're, before we're done is pretty high. I maybe could have, um, I maybe could have adjusted the, I maybe could have adjusted the, uh, the selling price there because, of course, only a bit of it actually arrived. Uh, this is not working for whatever reason. I have no idea, no idea why, uh, but it also doesn't particularly matter. Uh, right, ladies and gents, we're gonna wrap this episode up. Um, I like this, Moonshine, Moonshine Inc. I mean, honestly, it is a ridiculously complex and in-depth process, but, uh, it's actually quite a nice little, little business sim, uh, for, um, for making alcohol. There we go, we'll repair the, repair the fermentation tanks, get them, get them, get them all repaired. Uh, yeah, I like it. It's very, very cool, very, very cool indeed, and, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to see where this, uh, where this little game goes, but anyway. Uh, on that note, we're going to wrap things up. Thank you ever so much for watching. My name, of course, has been Obito Potato. Uh, check out the Patreon if you're interested in helping make videos like this possible. But for now, and from me, I'll see you next time. Bye.